Pingaksha, what kind of background is required for somebody to study electrical engineering here in America? If you are applying for your graduate studies in US uh, in electrical engineering, so you need to have a undergrad either in computer science or in electronics. So if you have electronics, things become a little bit easier and you don't have to take the prereq courses and you save a chunk of money but if you are moving from computer science you may have to like take three or four extra courses to get you ramp up with the electrical engineering basics and then you can continue so you need to have a degree either in electrical engineering in india we call it as ec electronics and computer engineering electrical electronics and communication engineering or computer science and engineering. But if you are from mechanical or civil or any other background, it will be really difficult. That's good to know. So very narrow focus there. Yes. Now tell us more about the course curriculum. What is kind of the typical EE course curriculum here in the States? Actually, like electrical engineering is a very vast topic. So it's like a broad domain. But uh, in US, especially in UTD and other top colleges, it has, it, it's been divided into different streams. Like one is called analog IC design, one is called digital IC design, power electronics, signal processing and signal and image processing, so and embedded systems. So broadly, there are five different branches in electrical engineering, power engineering, analog IC design, digital IC design, signal and image processing, and embedded systems. So these are the five different curriculums in um, electrical engineering, which are offered in various universities in US. I studied digital VLSI and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And you guys can easily go on any website and look up the exact stream or focus and the courses and see if that's really what you're excited about and the things and the topics you want to learn. So definitely do that research before going. The Most of the college website, they provide the list of courses they offer. So even me also, before applying to the US universities, I had to check what are the courses offered in various university. And then I only apply to those universities, which is like focus on digital VLSI, where we are mostly taught how to design the integrated circuits used in computers. and mobiles and everywhere so yeah so basically it's about the ic design like chip design used in computers laptops cars and everywhere hey friends welcome to chine coaching i'm rob and at chine coaching we're all about helping you find success in your cross-cultural journey especially studying abroad and this video is focused on electrical engineering um, job opportunities and job scope degrees, courses, and we're going to answer the big question at the end is, is it worth it? Is this degree worth it here in America? We've got a great guest, Pingakshap, so please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Pingaksha Goswami. I have done my master's in electrical engineering from UT Dallas. And then later I did all my PhD in electrical engineering from UT Dallas. So during my master's and PhD, I interned in various top electrical companies like NVIDIA, Synopsys, and Xilinx. And currently I'm working as a full-time research engineer in Lattice Semiconductor, where I do research on the IC design, like basically I do research on how to optimize the IC design flow and how to we can generate nice, good IC, which will be helpful for your laptops and mobiles. Lovely. And you, which part of India are you from? I am from Assam. So it's a nice state in the eastern part of India. A lot of greenery and famous for tea, as everyone knows. So, yeah. Yeah, got yes. all the tea and the chai. Yeah. So Pingaksha, tell us now for electrical engineering, what kind of a job scope does it have for people who are graduating? So actually, the good thing about electrical engineers is that the electrical engineer is that they can apply for both hardware job as well as software job because a lot of our courses involves programming like Python, C++, Java and also. But if you want to stay in core electrical engineering, then there are jobs in semiconductor industry like Intel, NVIDIA, Xilinx, AMD, Cadence and all those IC design 
design companies so in those ic design companies there are various jobs like you can either design the ic it is called the rpl design engineer where you write the very low code to uh, create the ic and then you can write the test benches or known as verification two broad type of jobs which are available in the those ic design industries are design engineers and verification engineers and both of them are nicely paid and then the another type of job which is like very specialized is called eda software engineer where you design the tools which are which are being used in those semiconductor industry basically you design the softwares which will be later used by the intel and nvidia and amd guys to design their ic's so these are the three different big domains of job available in vlsi and then if you go into power electronics then you have uh, jobs in the automotive industry in detroit like ford and bmw and all and then if you go into signal and image processing you have a lot of jobs in apple and then all those samsung and mobile communication industry so yeah a lot of opportunities lot of job and you can switch between different fields quite easily and upshot tell me now in this ee industry what are some of the top most desired companies right now and what kind of salaries can people expect yeah so there are a lot of companies in semi electrical engineering mostly in the semiconductor field so the number one company right now the market is little bit down so i mean hopefully it will go up in few days but in general currently the number one company in semiconductor is nvidia and it's very close to my house so it's just a walking this stones throw away and then intel is there nvidia is there amd so these are the four companies nvidia intel amd i mean three and then there are other companies like maxim integrated analog devices so those are like a little bit smaller but those three semiconductor nvidia amd and intel are the top three companies and then there are other companies like synopsis cadence chilinx which make specialized chips and the top three make generalized chips the seller in semiconductor is not as great as like software companies like google or microsoft or facebook or something like that it's kind of lower so if you join as a beginner entry level engineer in intel then you will expect in bay area in silicon valley you will expect to get around at least like 110k or so base salary and some company may give you stocks and then nvidia pays little bit more maybe like 120 and 130k so that is the range of the base salary and you may get another like 10 to 20000 per year of stocks so yeah that's the salary range so you if you start in silicon valley then you may get a total package of around 130 to 140k sounds good if you want to get admitted into outstanding universities abroad then you need to check out the collegiate mentorship program this unique college prep program has everything you need to get into your dream college you will receive one-on-one -on -one mentorship from top university professors lecturers and researchers specifically in your field and industry of interest you will expand and apply your knowledge on academic subjects in ways not possible within your current school courses you will also get access to over 125 professors and researchers from top universities in the us and uk like harvard mit columbia cambridge oxford duke university uc berkeley and many more connect with the collegiate mentorship program to get the learning, research, and internship opportunities needed to earn admissions into the world's elite universities. My friends, if you are loving this video like me, give a big like and thumbs up, hit that like button to say thanks to Pingaksha to share in his tips and advice and experience with electrical engineering. And our chai question for you guys is what colleges are you applying to? Uh, if you're considering an EE degree here in the States, uh, let us know. Tell us in the comments which colleges, which programs you guys are applying to. It would be really fun to see that. Yeah. Speaking of that, Ping Upshop, what are the top universities here in America, top programs for EE? Top means you can, like, as for any degrees, you can categorize the colleges into three phases, like top, middle, and then, uh, like, uh, lower. We call it as ambitious, mid, medium, and then uh, lower category. So the top colleges, which are very good in electrical engineering, is 
uh, Stanford is there, MIT is there, and then colleges like Georgia Tech and UIUC, they have very good electrical engineering programs. Even in UCLA and UC San Diego, those are those colleges also have very good electrical engineering programs. So Stanford, MIT, UIUC, Georgia Tech, and then UCSD and UCLA. So those are the you know ambitious. And for medium category, we have like UTD has very good uh, electrical engineering, ASU, Arizona State University, University of Florida, and USC. And then we have some other like, you know, lower rank colleges like UT Arlington, and then University of Tennessee, Knoxville. So those are also like very great colleges. Great list. Be sure to check those out, my friends. And now the big question we've all been waiting for, is electrical engineering worth it in America? Should people spend their time and money to come study abroad and pursue this kind of degree in the States? What do you think? Yeah, I will say definitely, like people should come and study electrical engineering. The best advantage of electrical engineering is that you learn both the hardware part as well as the software part of a computer, like IC design part, the computer architects are how a IC is made, how the hardware talks to the software, those part you learn. So suppose if you get bored with electrical engineering or if during your study you did not enjoy electrical engineering you want to switch to software then you can easily move to software companies like google facebook uber but which i feel it's not easy easy that is in the other way around so i feel that electrical engineering is really worth it even the semiconductor field also pays a lot and then you can also switch to software also like if you are not very much interested great opportunities Take that advice, my friends. And we've also made another really fun, really helpful video with Gakshop. So check that out. We talked about doing research here in America, doing a master's degree or even PhD with the focus of research and thesis. So we're gonna have a link for that. Uh, he shares his whole journey, how to apply, get advisors, pick topics. Um, don't wanna miss that as well. That's a really helpful video. Also, don't forget to connect with the Collegiate Mentorship Program to get the tools and mentorship for studying abroad at your dream university. We'll have links in the video description and comments. Gosh, thank you so much for talking about electrical engineering and giving some more guidance on that. Yeah, thanks Rob. So it's really nice talking to you. So your channel was really inspiring for me. So it personally helped me a lot in selecting universities and learning a lot about immigration stuff. So friends, if you want to know more about life as a student in US, and if you want to know about visa application process, immigration, different courses. So Rob is the guy, please like and subscribe to his channel. Press the bell icon so that whenever he uploads a new video, you will get a notification. So, yeah. Thank you for the encouragement. So glad that it's helped you in your journey and so many others. My friends, be sure to connect with us online on social media as well, like Instagram, LinkedIn. We have an awesome email newsletter with other great resources. So be subscribed to that. And we love having you be a part of the Chine Coaching community. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, Cheers. Nice talking to you. Cheers. Thank you.